I don't know if you've noticed this, but lately there's been some really amazing LEGO deals that have been popping up, and I know it's only the middle of October, but I thought what better time to start shopping for Clark Mann's Christmas gifts than now, and I figured since he's at school it'd be a great time to show you what I got so far for him. Let's start here with this Walmart one, and this is one that he actually knows that we got because we were both kind of celebrating it when we saw it went on sale. Because this is something, now more than ever, I would not pay full price for because of Lego's price increases, which, man, shopping for double VIP, that's for a whole nother video. <laughs> it's, it's frustrating, and I feel everyone's pain just like you probably feel mine. Walmart, first of all, thank you, thank you for this something seldom seen with Amazon, who we'll be getting into a little bit later in this video. But the first thing that I got for Christmas, or actually before Christmas, we've got the Guardians of the Galaxy advent calendar. This is probably my favorite advent calendar of the year, mainly because Groot, and there's some good minifigs from this as well, along with some other great little builds and stuff. And I was excited to get this one, and I was excited that they made this, and it's actually decent, because last year we did the Marvel one, and that one, to me, was like, not great. I wasn't overly happy with it, but this one looks awesome and I'm excited to get into that on December 1st, but that's not all. We got another one here too. This is the Lego Star Wars advent calendar. I've come to love these. I used to be really bitter that they would charge $40 for them, but uh, now I'm even more bitter because they're charging $45 for these. Luckily, Walmart had these on sale, and I think Amazon recently did a sale as well, where these were 20% off, so they're now down to $36, which in my opinion, even at 20% off, that is on the high end of what I would pay for an advent calendar. I mean, there's, there's 24 little builds in here, and when you're charging $45 for these, that just seems excessive to me. That seems like you're trying to take advantage of people, but we all vote with our wallets. And my wallet said no at 45, but my wallet said yes at 36, which kind of gets us down into the realm of possibilities, which is what they should be. One thing you'll notice though, that this box is empty, which means that I did not get any other advent calendars, including the Lego City advent calendar, which is an advent calendar that I've purchased every single year since I started this channel. Every single year I've got City, this year I said no. And it was weird because like, it's such a tradition for us. And even Cody and Clark, man, were like, you didn't get City? And I'm like, I didn't get City. I looked at it. I looked at the price, which is now up as well. And I looked at the builds and I'm just like, there's nothing here that's that's like calling out to me. There is no Groot. There is no Darth Vader in a summer shirt or C-3PO in a Christmas sweater. It just, there was like one minifig out of it. So I'm not gonna rule it out. If I get it for like 50% off or some crazy thing happens, I might consider the City Advent Calendar, but this year, we're just going with two, Guardians and Star Wars. And it's actually kind of nice because Baratech, which I'm hopefully gonna clean off one of these days, hopefully before December 1st, it, we'll be able to accommodate both of these, no problem. And uh, I'm excited to get into these, but sad about City a little bit. And I'll probably have regrets, but this should keep us busy. The only thing will be, we'll have to fight over who gets to build each one. I think I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna try to get the Guardians one for myself, but. We'll see. Clark, man, he, he kind of dominates the advent calendar scene. I get like the leftovers. I remember the one year, the only one, we had like four advent calendars in the go. And the one that I got to build was Lego Friends. So he's probably going to take both of those. And I'll just enjoy watching him. In fact, why don't I just film him opening and then you guys can join in on the journey too. This next thing we got here is something that I've wanted since the day it came out. It was out of stock forever. Amazon shipped it in a box, which surprised me more than anything. That's That was the real thing that I was like blown away by as I try to crack into this and cardboard rains everywhere. This is totally a set that they would have ordinarily put into one of those just uh, envelopes and shoved it in my mailbox and destroyed it, but they didn't this time. And the set that I got and the set that we needed in our lives as Speed Champions enthusiasts is the Countach. This is 76908, the Lamborghini Countach. Look at that beauty. Oh my gosh, is this gonna dethrone my favorite Lego Speed Champion set as the Ferrari? I don't know. I don't know if it has the power of that, but this is, I think, the best Speed Champion set of the year. And I was excited to get this for 20% off. So $15.99 for this, usually $20. If you guys haven't built LEGO Speed Champions before, just go out and get one and give it a chance. You'll love it, especially if you get one like this that doesn't have stickers like crazy. I mean, there's a couple on the back there, but these are such great models to build and you'll be shocked as to how they're able to get these curves and lines on this and you'll learn some new building techniques if that's your thing. 
Uh, but yeah, this is the one to get if you're trying to. $15.99 on Amazon. When I got it, I'm not sure if it's still in stock or that price still or not, but I'm happy to have found that for, for that price. Speaking of finding things for amazing prices, even better than 20% off, this box right here. A heftier one from Amazon, and this one has a little bit of a cheat code to it. This was one of the frustration-free packaging deals that Amazon was doing. It was a lightning deal. And if you ever find yourself in one of those positions, make sure you mark it as a gift. Because otherwise, from what I've heard, they'll just slap a sticker on the front of it, which is the frustration-free part. So imagine this being your set, and they're like, Phew! sending it out to Brickitech subscriber, whatever, and it goes into your mailbox, and they smash it and stuff, and it's open to the air. So if they set this on your front porch, everybody's gonna see that you have a Lamborghini Countach sitting there, and they're probably gonna come steal it, possibly. Mark it as a gift to yourself, and have it shipped to yourself, and they put it in a box. At least, I think that works. It's worked for me at least a couple times that I've done it. This set in here is one that Clark has wanted for a very long time. And this is going to be a highlight at Christmas because he has no idea this is coming. I'm still trying to decide if I should make this a Christmas gift or not. I kind of want to gift it to myself like right now. But I can imagine that if he saw this on Christmas morning, because I kept this a secret, I think he might be pretty stoked about that. So I'm going to... I'm gonna delay my gratification and satisfaction and put it off to Clark Man on Christmas morning. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be talking to Santa Claus about it and if Santa is interested in buying this for him, it'll un end up under the tree. I'll just throw my copy away. But this set here, oh my gosh, he's wanted this for so long. This is a $140 set that I got for $98 on Amazon. This of course is 75292 the Razor Crest. Clarkman is a massive Mandalorian enthusiast. He loves Grogu, just like I think pretty much every other kid does. And this was a set that he's wanted forever. And at $140, I was like, oh, it's, it's kind of expensive, right? But at $98 on an Amazon Lightning deal, I'm like, you know, Santa needs some things. So this became the thing that I got him, and I'm sure most of you guys have seen this. Some of you are probably hoping that Santa brings you the $550 or whatever the new Razor Crest costs. But this one is manageable for a little dude. This is it's a 10 plus set, and we're working on 18 plus sets, so I think he'll be okay. But it's got Mando and then little Grogue, which we already have those guys, but he wanted to build this ship. And I picture this being a major part of our Christmas day and or the next day, depending on what else arrives, because this is... This is something he's going to be stoked about. And it's always weird like when I get Lego for Christmas because this is obviously something that we do all the time. I mean, this, this looks like an average Thursday in our, in our studio here. But there's some sets that I know Clark is just going to be absolutely like stoked about and the fact that Santa brought them, uh, he, he's going to be even more excited about. So this is going to be one of those and I am very excited to see his reaction to this because again, this is going to be a surprise and that's a part of the fun of Christmas in my mind is just seeing the the elation on your, your kid's face when they get things and um, maybe I'll be able to sneak in and help him build this too. I'll see if I can get into it. But that's what I got so far. As I mentioned earlier in this video, I do have... Uh, a double VIP thing that I bought. It was a real struggle with that, which I'll talk about in that video. That should be coming sometime. I was a little late to the game with ordering, so they've probably been pummeled, but I, that's a haul that's coming. I'm trying to cut myself off though. We don't need any more Lego sets as I sit here with all these boxes in front of me, but this is our hobby. This is what we do. This is what I love, and this is what I love to share with you. So that's, that's what happens, and I appreciate you tuning in to this lovely little haul here. If you guys are looking for deals, uh, community tab, I usually try to post things. I don't know if, I think I posted this. I don't know if I posted this. I, oftentimes I don't even think of it. I'm just like, oh, snag it. Oh, snag it. And that's what I did. And uh, these will be uh, featured in a future video several months from now, because I guess Christmas season has started. If I get anything extra for Christmas for Clark in the world of Lego, I'll be sure to share it here. I hope you guys have a glorious rest of your day and we'll see you in hopefully the next haul video. Hopefully not the next haul video, actually. We don't need any more, but if you want to watch any other videos, they're probably up right now. Check them out.